What is going on, guys? Wise here, coming in with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our CWL Week 4 matchup against Emphatic Elite. And unfortunately for us, good old fashion percentage loss for us. Um, tough war, great job, Emphatic. You know, you came through with that one. Um, really just, it was an even war to begin with, and then we kind of fell apart, and then. Um, and Vatic had some fails, let us back into it a little bit, and we had a nice 10 versus 10 triple, and it was just a crazy finish, and um, honestly, you know, a good job, Emphatic. Uh, unfortunately for us, that means we are dropping to two and two, not exactly where we want to be uh, at week four. Uh, however, we do have the other half of the season to go here, and we're going to get back on track and hopefully string together a few more wins now. Uh, are some really nice attacks in here. Uh, we did have some good successes, like I mentioned. We did have a 10 versus 10 triple, which is always very nice by my man hoodie there. Uh, and some other attacks I want to show. Let's just jump down. Uh, gonna kinda, it's pretty late already, but once again, good old 24 hour lifetime on these replays. I normally would be doing this recap tomorrow, but oh well, keeping me on my toes. Good old Kim. I think this is the attack I wanted to show uh, for a few reasons. One, just because he's bringing Pekka's. I always love showing at least one sort of Pekka smash attack. Um, in a recap, however, there's a little interesting moment at the end of the raid. Uh, we're going to find out here in a second. A little surprise, if you will. So Kim's going to go ahead and get make that nice easy funnel with those baby drags. Mortars go down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and drop that cold-blooded golem a little bit early on that wizard there. Oops. Oh, well, let's get another one down. It uh, doesn't really matter because the funnel's created, really. You could have just dropped his heroes right on those buildings. The wizard's just helping uh, speed things along. In come the P.E.K.K.A.s. In comes the king. There he goes. <clears throat> Everything's going to lock on to this defensive queen. Take care of that queen chamber and then basically just jump right on in between all four of these air defense. Uh, going to get really good value on that stuff. Uh, basically take out a huge chunk of the core. Poison goes down for the clan castle. Bowlers. Pekka's, everything doing work in there. It goes down very, very quickly. So as you can see, basically just everything's going to funnel into this core. Pekka's do take a little bit of a walk to the outside over here. I believe the queen follows up. There is a Tesla farm as well at 9 o'clock. That actually kind of is almost what ruins this attack here. Uh, Bowler's slowly starting to dwindle away now in the core as well. But he's getting those baby Ds on the outside. A couple wizards helping out is on top of it. And everything's just going to slowly chip away at these outer defenses. The Queen and Pekka, I believe, managed to take care of all these uh, Teslas, uh, but they do go down in the process at the same time. But because of that fact, this one baby D, uh, this many, these couple baby Ds end up just slowly start working together towards the 6 o'clock location. Bit by bit, still is a baby D in the bag as well. It drops archers on those corner builders' huts. Always be mindful of the huts, guys. Absolutely imperative on your attacks. And as you can see, slowly but surely, Kim's like, I think I got this. But at a certain point, I think his mind was going to change. Still does have that baby D in the bag, but takes a black mind to the face. Right at that point, I think he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get this. Go, 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 go. Baby D is dead over there. Minion is dead. There's one baby dragon to go. Is he going to hear this out? He is going down slowly but surely. Get the cannon down. One more shot. There it is. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, man. One hit point. Baby dragon. So lucky that Archer Tower was uh, a sliver of health to go. <laughs> I had to show that one, though. I thought that was just a hilarious finish. Um but nice six pack for Kim, nonetheless. Uh, another six pack for PH as well. PH and I was an official member of 2.0, so welcome, my friend. I'm going to show one of your attacks, but not that one. I show Pit here on number 18 first. Bringing the good old uh, shattered um, Bolalo here. Get that funnel down nice and quick. Keeps these golems very tight. You're going to notice. Gets the wizards down very quickly on that high hit point stuff. Gets that other golem right in, right behind. Basically going to go right to the same spot. Poison down on that queen. Just going to allow that uh, the funneling troops to do their job there. Wall gets opened. There we go. Nice and clean. <clears throat> and in come the heroes. Might have been a little worried about that Rax there. Uh, 
kit, but no big deal because everything funnels right on in. Just got to work through the rest of this stuff uh, on the outside. Then that jump spell is now basically going to direct everything in between these two air defense. It's going to get that clan castle pulled out. It is a hound. I'm always weary about the bull lalos uh, when they when there's a hound in the clan castle. However, the fact that bowlers obviously don't target the hound allows you to get away with it. In the old days without bowlers, your queen would get stuck up just like she is now. And none of these buildings would be going down like these bowlers are killing a bunch of buildings following this king, like the queen would normally doing it. So there wasn't a hound. You guys get the you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. But uh, looking good at this point, hound is in on this air defense. Loons are in all over the place. Just got to work through that Tesla farm. But the hound's doing most of the tanking through that, so that is absolutely perfect. All in behind that sweeper. Just got to work over to that last remaining air defense. Now the hounds are dead, which you think might be a bit of an issue at this point. But there's far too many balloons. All those defenses going down at the same time. Really, there's only one place for the rest of them to go, and it is that air defense. Get there just in time. We have a few and Manus surviving. Down goes the air D. A few balloons start sprinkling out. Just got to get the cleanup done. And he's got it all over the base. Nice little split here on the loons and stuff too, but job pit. That's a tree in the bag. Job, buddy. Mm. Next on the block is, ooh, not me. This attack was kind of a humorous ending as well. Um, I, I definitely got pretty lucky with the uh, sequence of events for my troops at the end of that one, <laughs> but that'll be for uh, my own private stash. We're gonna go check out Bucko on uh, number 16. Just bringing the go hobo with a walk. He's basically just going to walk this queen right past this archer queen chamber, take care of the defenses. Um, nice little wizard placement here because this wizard is free to get the these high hit point structures. Basically, all of these buildings, I believe, uh, maybe not the town hall, but either way, uh, good value on that wizard. Poison down, out comes the hound. So the queen's just going to stand here for a little bit. We'll be times do this, work through that lava hound ever so slowly, but it's nice to get it out of the way. It is now dealt with. Down go the pups. And we're going to continue on here. I believe is sending the golems in somewhere around 9 o'clock. I think there's some Teslas here at 9 o'clock as well. You're going to see that happen any moment now. Da -da -da. Cannon goes down. Things are looking good. In goes that golem. So you're going to ear pops that Tesla. I believe, I don't think he would have dropped his golems like that if he knew that Tesla farm was there. I should have checked if this was a fresh hit. I'm pretty sure it was because he sort of panics, drops a few quick wizards, drops those two hogs. Probably, well, no, that's probably a good call because that golem's almost dead. But down goes the Teslas. Open, uh, the wall gets opened up. Queen's going to walk on in and join things, join the party. In goes the king, in goes the bowlers, jump spells down. Basically going to make sure the troops just walk straight up from 9 now to 12. So he's taking out the threats at 6. Worked his way up to nine, and now he's going to go straight across with these golems and king in this little kill squad up until the 12 location. Get two air defenses on the way and triggering a whole lot of stuff, or at least diffusing, not triggering. Because I believe, where are the bombs? I know there's a bomb around here near this bomb tower. Uh, but I just see really good value on that. There go the golems. They do trigger that bomb over there. So it starts sprinkling the hogs, just taking care of these uh, very compact outer compartments uh no serious threats of a, a lot against hogs maybe a couple decent spring trap locations but it's gonna it's gonna be far too many hogs for uh those defenses to deal with no spells but it doesn't really matter that uh bomb tower doesn't do nothing i might need to change that a little bit i think because i find it uh it's a little underwhelming at times but anyhow as you can see far too many hogs down goes the cannon it's clean up time Still has that queen ability, smashes through that wall, and we got a tree star in the bag for Bucko. Not a boy. The man, my man, job. Uh, did have to use as well, um, I think three, four, maybe even five bullies. Uh, we're not happy with that. We started off great. I think we're at like a 60% triple rate. At our first, I want to say, 20 attacks. And. <laughs> <laughs> it just we hit we hit some stumps. We'll, we'll just say that. Um, I got one more here. Or no, I want to show Paragon. That's what I wanted to show. P H bringing the drags. Ten dragons and a double snap quake. <laughs> Let's just do it. So kind of a interesting base design. You know, very very uh, sort of 
out in the boonies queen chamber here with absolutely nothing in it but the heroes. And I think that's a pretty good concept. I, I would support sort of things like that because um, you're, you're making your attacker make a choice, uh, although it is very easy, as you can see, to just kill the heroes uh, like so. <clears throat> Drops a balloon there, guys, just in case there was a mine. I think it did it eat a mine. I think it did eat a mine. And then the dragons just mop up. So down goes the defensive king. Dragons and I are just going to work through those clan castle troops, or the one clan castle troop there. I believe the rest are Valk, so they don't come out, so they do not target drags. <clears throat> His queen finally does die over there. No big deal. The heroes were basically suicide anyways, but the double zap quake. His only threat is this air defense now at the 9 o'clock, but it gets a hound in nice and quickly. Let's his dragons work on through those air skellies work against him here because they suck the dragons like right on top of the air defense. Down it goes. Not a lot of threat. There is this little Tesla farm down here, which could be a bit of a threat, but no big deal. I think he's got three, six, seven, maybe even eight dragons still going. We're going to times two of this because they are so freaking slow, but it doesn't matter. Got them in nice and quickly. <clears throat> They're going to do their thing. You see there's way too many left over now by the time they work their way over this uh, Tesla farm. And it's G. G. Nice little mini placement there too. Just getting free rain, free shots on that town hall. Just smash that Tesla compartment. Down goes the Wiz Tower. Boom. PH. Killing it for us, buddy. Very, very good job. Not quite as good a job, though, as my buddy Hoodie going in on number 10. Bringing the Lalo, like the one Valk as well. Good old Shattered Entry, only 12 balloons. Uh, freeze Heal, basically like a Town Hall 10 max attack style. Add a Valk and add bowlers. <clears throat> so Funnel's going to get created here. Two Golems in doing their thing. Wall gets opened up nice and quickly. Nice little jump spell there. You're going to just cleanly let everything straight across to that Inferno, to that first air defense. Everything's going to get sucked onto that defensive Archer Queen as well. And basically end up standing right in between these two air defenses. And that's that's about all he really needed out of the skill squad here. So raid spell goes down. Going to just start smashing through all of this stuff. Out comes Client Castle. He's going to get that quick poison down. There's another Hound here as well. But again, like I mentioned earlier, when you got those bowlers, they just do not care about the Hound. They're going to continue smashing through stuff where your queen sort of stands there and beats on it all by her lonesome and that's finally going to pop sometimes that can cause you problems but really the kill squad's job's almost done queen is gonna barely make this air defense but just is a hero here and absolutely steps up poison just perfect because look at these pups go down if she had to kill all those pups individually without that poison there's no way she would have got that air defense down it goes in goes the first hound i'm gonna go ahead and get a couple loons on this uh, far arch tower just get a nice spread on everything second hound is in <clears throat> there we go i said max tack but i lied because he did not use that heal spell or even the freeze with for that kill squad he's going to save it here for the balloons nice little haste getting everything targeted just going to work on in through this first air defense. Blam, blam, down it goes. Only one more to go. Gets that last hound in and on. Takes two mines to the face at first instantly, but that uh, uh, hound from over here works its way over very quickly through that rage. Very nice rage placement. Very nice freeze placement. Uh, balloons are right on top of the Inferno before I can uh, do a thing. Heal spell goes down instantly as soon as that Inferno tower goes down, keeping all those balloons alive to work through that Tesla farm. Just absolutely fantastic spell placements on this one, Hood. Bam, bam, bam. A couple mines, but there's far too many looms to go. There's pups cleaning up all over the base. Even a couple wizards saved in the bag. Man, this could have been this could have been the winner of the war, man. That is too bad. Very nice job, buddy. <clears throat> we'll see with this update. I'm very interested to see the effect of what the uh, increased attack speed on things like loons and dragons and pekkas is going to bring, um, specifically to the Town Hall 10 game, because I think they're being cautious. Uh, I think what they did for Town Hall 11 or what they're, they're aiming to do for Town Hall 11 is smart and good, and I just really hope that some of the things they're doing for 10 pay off, because um, you know we need to see more of these attacks, because that was absolutely sexy. Nice job, hoodie. 
Uh, again, nice job in Fatic Elite, and uh, sucks, you know, two and two. Uh, like I said, we were not expecting to be here, but we will absolutely not give up. We're going to be right back there for the next one, fighting to, to go up three and two, and uh, I believe we will. So until week five, guys, that'll do it. Emphatic, great war, 2.0. We're going to get the next one. Love you guys. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it back that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.